Hello, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Their names are Squiggle, um, Wiggles and Fred, but I'm getting them out of here right now because today is going to be another, wait, I don't know, no, it's not another, my first cooking video. Okay, sorry, let's get right into it here. So, Daddy, are you not listening? Are you not listening? Okay, good. Thanks. So, I'm going to tell you the ingredients right now. You need any cheese, lettuce, cucumber, carrots, grapes, breadcrumbs, almonds, a tomato, or however many tomatoes you want, a crusher thingy. Okay, let me get these ingredients out of the way. Yikes, that's, that's wet. <laughs> we need a thing that you can crush with. Um, it's preferably a manual, a handheld one, but you could use a like blender too. Just don't put it on a very high setting. You need some bowls and a big bowl. However many bowls you want people to feed, <laughs> a cheese grater, a cutting board, these pork thingies, and yeah, so have you guys guessed what we're making yet? Well, you don't need to guess anymore because I'm going to tell you, we're going to be making salad, and I know that we're in quarantine, and it's a perfect time to slack off and sit on the couch all day. But the cold hard reality is you still need to be healthy. I'm sorry, pizza orderers. You can do that sometimes, but hey, why not have a recipe for salad at hand sometime? And you can watch it down with a mystery dessert that I'm not going to tell you until we make it. Which will probably be in the next video. <laughs> So, you can pause this video, get all your supplies, and once you have it, come back and unpause it. So you don't really need to have these fork thingies, just like a spoon or two forks or anything that you can mix it and serve it with. Oh, and you also need a knife. I have to get that. Um... Oh, and if you choose, you can do little apple bits. I'm not doing that, though. So first, the lettuce. Take it out of its bag, obviously. <laughs> and you don't need, like, a whole lettuce head. I just have it. Okay, you might need a whole lettuce head. Hold on. So you want to wash it thoroughly. Thoroughly. Sorry. And then you want to cut it up. Into, you know, not monster size or teeny tiny things where you need glasses to see. And it's your choice um, which size you want to cut it. And just keep your lettuce and all your stuff at hand so you can get it when you need it. And then just get it on into the bowl. 
your big bowl of choice. And if you are a kid my age, don't cut it on your own, please. Rip it up if you have to, or call in reinforcements. I'm just gonna rip it up for now. Yes, I know I did just cut it, but then I realized that was a dumb mistake, uh, a dumb idea. <sighs> okay, so I'm hoping you guys know how to rip and cut things. So I'm just gonna have you guys wait a second. Okay, so when you've got a pretty good amount in a bowl, I mean, I can't tell you guys how much is a good amount. Um, you can decide for yourself what you think is a pretty good amount, but remember, you should put like quite a bit because uh, we're making a salad here, peeps, not a pizza, and lettuce is kind of the staple of salad. <laughs> so yeah, um, take some time to wash your hands after each one. Okay, now you won't need the cutting board for this next thing, or as long as you have a grater, you won't need a cutting board. If you don't have a grater, then I feel bad for you. So lay the grater on top of the bowl, because we're, we're doing some carrots, peeps. And then start testing with which size you want. And grate them in there. For me, I'm using the little one because I have little carrots. Careful, careful of your fingers. And for all you kids who are trying to surprise their like neat freak pair, I mean, their help not sue you parent. For all kids younger than 10 out there, just be really careful and maybe call in a grown up to help. And make sure not to cut too close to your fingers. And nobody should, all you daredevil grown ups. Because that's basically a suicide mission for your for your flesh. Every so often take something that is not your fingers and make sure all that good stuff gets in there. You could try banging it out, but that doesn't work so well for me. But if it works for you, that is fine. And if you want, break some carrot into chunks. Like manageable chunks and drop them on in there. And guys, we'll get to the dressing later. And this may be, need to be a two-part video. Hold on. Okay, guys, this is going to have to be a two-part video. And I'm cutting it short for now because of some technical difficulties that have arisen. Arose. So I'll see you in the next one, okay? Wait for that. I'll, I'm leaving you on a cliffhanger.